Corner, Art of Skincare. Welcome to my Tuesday Live. And today we're going to be talking about intelligent skincare for healthy aging. So we've been spent uh, the last few weeks, we've talked quite a bit about neogenesis and we've really talked about the importance of those stem cell release cytokines in the health of your skin. Well, when we hit age 45, and I kind of couch it in terms of 45 to 80, things really start to change in our skin. And neogenesis is wonderful. I will always continue to use those, but there's something else that I like to add into my routine once those menopausal years are upon us. So most people hit menopause around 50. I started at 55. And then there's others who experience menopause as early as 45. Um, what happens when we start experiencing that fluctuation in hormones and the loss of estrogen is that um, we start to lose collagen in the skin. And it's no wonder that many women reach out to me at age 50 and say something has happened. Something's shifted, all of a sudden I'm 50 and my skin is so different. And what they're experiencing is that onset of menopause and the beginnings of that loss, that depletion of estrogen in the skin. You see, we have estrogen receptors in the skin and when there's no estrogen to meet them, we do not get that signal to keep creating more collagen and the collagen um, starts to decrease. In the first five years of menopause, we lose 30%. 30% of our collagen. And then from e on every year thereafter, we lose generally another 2%. And so this is a real problem for us. And even my clients who use HRT, um, natural hormone replacement, um, they are still seeing the difference in their skin and problems happening with their skin. So in the past, we haven't had a whole lot that we can do about that. Uh, but this last year, uh, we found a new brand, it's called Emma Pell, and we started testing their products. And over this last year, many of my clients have been using the Emma Pell products. And I have to tell you hands down that the, the transformation we see in the skin, the firmness of the skin, the color and the glow of the skin, um, I've never seen anything that helps um, aging skin more than the Emma Pell products. They have a, an ingredient called MEP. It binds with that estrogen receptor in your skin so that your skin still gets that message to keep creating collagen. And I've had clients in their 70s who've been beyond menopause for 10 or more years, 15 years, and they start using this system and they too see a big difference in their skin. They see that collagen starting to come back. So Emma Pell recommends that you start at 45. Even if you're not having symptoms of menopause yet, you know it's around the corner. So take a proactive approach and start on the Emma Pell products at 45 and then move and, and keep with it throughout your years. Some people have asked me, well, can I just use them once? You know, use one bottle of serum or use the night cream until it runs out and then I won't need it again. And I have to say, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> we live on this planet. We're constantly, you know, we're constantly degrading, right? We're just constantly, our cells are dying off, we're aging and um, Emma Pell's not gonna keep working if we stop using it. So we have to keep using. What I'm finding though, is that many clients can use the Emma Pell products for three to six months and then you can taper back a little bit. You can just use the night cream or you can use the daytime serum. Sometimes what I find is that clients in their 40s, 45 to 50, are using the serum mainly. And then when you really hit menopause, you're using both the serum and the night cream. This is what they look like. And then once you've been on these three to six months, you can kind of alternate a bit. I find that I use the night cream a couple nights a week and then I use the daytime serum most days. And so I'm, you know, I've got a good, um, I've hit a good benchmark, but you wanna give it a full three to six months of using all the products in order to get yourself at its optimal best for collagen production. Now, some people have asked me, do I need to worry about this getting in my bloodstream? Um, you do not. This absolutely does not affect your um, hormones in your bloodstream and your body at all. It, it stays right on those receptors in the skin. 
So today, what I'm gonna show you is what I call intelligent skincare. I'm gonna be doing a facial on myself. I'm gonna be using Neogenesis products and I'm gonna be using Emma Pell. And I'm using Neogenesis because they do that deep DNA restoration work that we need. And then I'm using Emma Pell to bind with those estrogen receptors so that I'm not losing collagen from that. And the other thing about the Emma Pell, especially the, <laughs> when to bring it up, but the, the serum, the daytime serum, this has everything you need to go with your Neogenesis recovery and booster. This has got your vitamin C. I have so many people reach out to me and wanting to know, can I use vitamin C when I'm using Neogenesis recovery? Yes, you can. And this is the one, if you're 45 and over, this is the one I recommend because this has your MEP, it has your vitamin C, and it has your peptides. It has everything you need for that healthy aging boost that you need. And then the night cream, this has those peptides in it too, but this also has two kinds of retinol in it. So it's gonna give you that retinol boost that you need. We also have an Emma Pell eye cream, and I'll be using that with my Neogenesis eye cream, and that's what I do every day. And so the routine that I'm showing you is kind of the routine I do every day, but I'm also boosting it. I'm gonna be doing a mask. I'm gonna be using the Volcanic Ash Mask from Neogenesis and I'm going to be customizing it. So I'm gonna show you what we do in a treatment room is something you can do at home. I'm gonna be boosting this mask and then also doing um, another little trick to really get those products penetrating into my skin. So let's get started. I already washed my face because so many of you guys have seen me wash my face a million times now. I don't think you need to see me do that again. <laughs> so once you've washed your face, I'm gonna get right started in on the mask. Now, I alternate between this volcanic ash mask and an enzyme mask um, because I'm wanting to, um, those enzymes, I'm wanting to get them on my skin at least once per week because enzymes digest away those dull, dry, dead skin cells. The volcanic ash is gonna go in there and really pull out um, toxins, pollutions from the day, cellular debris, and we're gonna boost it so it does a few extra things. So I've got my volcanic ash here. I'm gonna grab some, a nice little dollop out of here, about that much. And you could do this in the palm of your hand. Um, I'm, actually I am, because I wanna do what you guys are gonna do at home. You could do this in a glass ramekin, like a little small bowl or you can do it right here in your hand. So I'm putting it right in my hand. Now I'm going to boost this with one of um, Neogenesis acid serums. So we have Mandelic acid serum. If you want to make this mask more brightening or you wanna make it antifungal anti and antibacterial, maybe you get some hormonal breakouts going on, um, Mandelic acid is fantastic for those. You could put a pump or two into the mask or you can use the salicylic acid gel. Salicylic acid gel is great for anyone with rosacea or inflammation or prone to redness. I'm gonna do this one today, just with the heck of it. I usually do Mandelic, but I'm gonna try this one because I haven't done it yet. I'm putting in two pumps of the salicylic acid gel, and now I'm mixing it in my hand with the mask. Now you could, I'm gonna get it all over the place. We're gonna have a muddy mess here. But you could use your little stick and you could stir it around that way as well. <laughs> this is like playing in kindergarten. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spread it on my face. Now you find when you mix this with the acid serums, you can't just brush it on. If you have a mask brush and you like to brush on your mask, you can do that with this mask if you haven't mixed it with the acids. If you've mixed it with the acids, you're gonna to need to use a little massaging action to really get it worked into the skin. <laughs> oh. I actually asked them, couldn't you use like white volcanic ash? This is gonna get all over my <laughs> my uh, washcloths. I'm happy to report it has not stained the washcloths. <laughs> so I've got the mask now all over my face. 
And now I'm gonna show you guys my trick that I love to do. Some of you have seen this. Let me rinse the mud off my hands. Okay, now before I came on today, I made myself some pieces of cellophane. So I love to do this. This is gonna keep the mask from drying too fast on my skin. So here we go on the forehead, piece of cellophane. It's gonna seal those products in and really push them into the skin. I do this in the treatment room on my clients, it's great. Now you wanna be sure to leave your nasal flares open. You wanna be able to breathe through your nose. So my next one, I'm gonna, oh man, this is gonna be tough. I'm not gonna be able to talk to you guys while I have it on. Let me make a hole for my, <laughs> let me do this. Normally you would go right over your mouth, but I wanna keep talking. So I'm gonna go here with this one and here with this one. And then this one can go right over the eyes, but mainly you want it over that nose, right? So I'm just gonna fold it a little bit. Now, I leave this on for five minutes. And the best thing that you can do, just don't suffocate yourself, the best thing that you can do right now with this like this is get into a hot, steamy bath. That hot steam is gonna interact with your mask. I do this with the enzyme mask too. Interacts with the mask, it creates this humidity under here and it really drives the ingredients into the skin and really pulls up the cellular debris. You could do this on the neck and you can also do it across your chest. I also like to use an ice globe with these. So I'm in this really nice hot bath. Then I take my ice globe and roll it around. That change in the temperature is gonna increase the absorption, get the blood circulating. It's awesome. This is so messy looking, it's so funny. The things we do for beauty, right? This is really good if you have blackheads. So that's on. I'm gonna take it off because I don't wanna sit here for five minutes on YouTube like this. <laughs> but it easily peels right back off. I love this mask. It leaves the skin just so amazing and soft. Your pores, it reduces any swelling around the pores, so your pores all look nice and small. It's amazing, and it's pretty much dry already, even with having the plastic wrap over it. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab myself a Lush cloth. These are in our reward center, or you can buy packs of three of them. And I'm gonna remove the mask. I love these Lush cloths. They're almost like a magnet. They just really grab what's ever on your skin and pull it off. There you go. So I'm gonna show you what I do for my morning routine from here forward. And then I'm going to tell you what I do for a nighttime routine because I've got the whole day ahead of me. It's Taco Tuesday and I wanna put on my daytime skincare and then we're gonna do a little makeup treat, a little spring fling makeup update some nice little makeup tips. So, skin is all nice and clean. Check in the big mirror. Yep, <laughs> it's all off. Love how my skin feels. Okay, now I'm going to grab Neogenesis Recovery Serum. One pump is all you need. I put it in the palm of my hand and then I use my fingers to apply it all over my face and my neck.
Now, because when we are in those menopausal years, when we lost estrogen, we, we tend to get hyperpigmentation, we get sagging, and we also get dry. And so I found that most of my clients who use Neogenesis also need to use the booster serum. The booster serum is what gives you that plumping. Now, if you're using Cavapla or something like that, you can probably get away without this, but if you're just wanting to do really holistic skincare um, and a simple routine, like I'm showing you today, you're gonna wanna have booster on hand. So one pump of booster. This is my plumper. I love plump skin. <laughs> Always get the top of your nose. You get a lot of thinning in this area right here. And then the neck. I still have a little bit of clay here and there. I can feel it. Okay. Next step to grab is my Emma Pell serum. So I've got all my stem cell cytokines and boosters in my skin. Skin feels really good. Now I'm just gonna add one pump of Emma Pell Serum. Now I've had a couple of you reach out to me. Emma Pell Serums feel very active. The products feel very active. For the first two minutes that you put them on your skin, you are going to probably feel some, it's gonna turn really pink and you might even turn um, feel a little stingly. That should subside within two minutes. A very, very occasionally we have a client who that doesn't subside and they stay red or feel a little sensitive afterwards. You can put this on after your moisturizers and it still has the same great effect. So if you're super, super sensitive, just go ahead and do your moisturizing and then put your Emma Pell serum right on top of it or your Emma Pell night cream right on top. I've been doing that with those clients that are super sensitive and we're still having just phenomenal results. So I'm not that sensitive, but I am gonna turn real pink. You'll see one pump of the Emma Pell Serum and it's gonna pink me up and feel a little active. And a little stingly. Now what I forgot to do, what I normally do, and there is, is let me tell you this, there is gonna be a PDF of this whole facial at Art of Skin Care. So go to artofskincare.com, reach out to live chat and say, hey, I want Gina's Neogenesis Emma Pell PDF today and you can get it there. So what I forgot to do, but you'll see it on the PDF is I forgot to put on my Neogenesis Eye Serum. I use this twice a day. I love this. I used to not use it during the day because I had a problem with my eye makeup peeling and rolling off. And what I found is that I just wasn't waiting long enough. If you wait long enough for this to really absorb into the skin, you won't have that problem. Eye serum also goes on the lips. <laughs> if you have the MBK Eye Rejuvenator, you could definitely be using that right now and working that into the eyes. Okay, next step for me is I'm going to grab my moisture mist. So I'm going from lightest to heaviest with the moisturizer. So with Neogenesis, we like to layer. So the moisture mist is putting that water hydration into the skin. Then I'm gonna use the intensive moisturizer, which also has those stem cell cytokines in it. I love this moisturizer. And then I'm gonna put barrier renewal cream on top. Barrier Renewal Cream is your oil balancer. This has that perfect profile of lipids to balance the skin. So whether you have combo skin, dry skin, um, this is the cream that you want to use. You can use it alone. I have clients that do that. Or you can use it on top of your other moisturizers. And this trio makes my skin really happy. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna do a little mist. Feels so good. And then I grab my intensive, one pump. I'm that one pump person. One pump of everything. I love the light feel of this and the way it makes my skin feel just really glowy. Next step, Barrier Renewal Cream. That's my lipid balancer. One pump. Don't 
Don't forget your earlobes on everything. Just put everything on your earlobes. 45 and over, we're talking to you guys today. So 45 and over, everything goes on your earlobes because by the time you hit 55, your earlobes are gonna look different. And so if you put your little serum on there and all this stuff, you'll be happy that you did, right? Because when we're 55, we always wish, oh, why didn't I start doing this when I was 40 or 45? So we're talking 45 and up today. And um, that's one of my tips for you is to be sure and treat your earlobes. Okay, and your neck and chest, everything, and the top of your bridge of your nose. <laughs> so next thing I have here, I have all my skincare laid out. I'm gonna grab the Emma Pell Eye Serum. This is for combating that estrogen loss around the eye area. This only goes on the orbital bone. So you might have seen when I used the Neogenesis Eye Serum, I took that right down next to the lashes. You can go right in there with that. The Emma Pell Cream goes out here on the orbital bone. And you can use it on your lips too. Everything on the lips. <laughs> All right, now, see I've got everything on. I am going to grab, let's do some makeup fun. Let's have some fun with the makeup. Okay, so normally you see me go to my Is Clinical Eclipse, right? And I'm putting on my tinted, uh, tinted beige Eclipse sunscreen. Well, I'm so excited because last week Sorella launched Dew Drops. And this is so fun. Dew Drops has a 50 SPF. It's completely acne safe and it comes in four different shades and it has the most glowy, beautiful finish. Um, the Dew Drops, to get them to be an actual 50, you're gonna have to layer on quite a bit. So rather than do that, I prefer to layer my sunscreen. So one of the first things that I'm gonna do, since um, on, on the weekend, like last weekend, all I used was this. When I'm filming, when I'm going to work, I'm gonna grab my Illuminaire. So this time, what I'm doing is I'm using the Illuminaire Mattifying Finish because the Dew Drops has that really dewy finish, but I want to just get a little extra coverage around my nose. I get some broken capillaries around here, little larger pores, and then I get a little bit of dark pigmentation on my cheeks. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use such a teeny tiny amount. For you guys who um, don't know Illuminaire or um, have tried and thought they, you know, you put on too much, most people put too much on when they start. So I'm showing you guys, I mean, if I don't know if you can see that, it's such a teeny tiny amount that I'm doing. See those little tiny spots? That's about it, I might do just a tiny bit more. and then I'm blending it in. Same thing, just little tiny spots on the side of the nose and on the cheeks, and then blend it in. And I tend to like to just use my fingers to lay it down in my large pores on the side of my nose. So then I've got this nice bit of coverage just in the areas where I really want it and I'm layering sunscreens, right? So my Illuminaire has an SPF of 20, no glasses on, 20, 20. <laughs> Pretty sure it's 20. Has my SPF of 20. Now I get to grab my SPF 50 sun drops and you want to shake these like crazy. So I have that really well shaken up. Now I'm gonna put it into my hand and there's two ways that you can use this. So I'm gonna do two layers today of my dew drops. The first layer I'm gonna put on with my fingers. So you can see just how easily and beautifully it applies with the fingers. And then I'm gonna put my second layer on with the brush. So shake it up. Another spot or two in there. And Sorella made a beautiful little brush 
pick it up with my brush. And now I can just stipple a bit more on where I want that really extra glow. I really want that glow on the cheekbones, around the crow's feet, the top of the nose. And then just a little bit of blending here and there. And I love this. I love the finish. Now, in about 20 minutes, it's going to dry down to have just a little bit more coverage, but it's still gonna have this really nice glow to it, which we want glow. I know so many people want matte, but 45 and over, get used to glow. Embrace the glow, embrace the dewy finish, because that's what minimizes the fine lines and wrinkles and really keeps that skin looking beautiful and plump. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer one more sunscreen. So I'm gonna layer on, this is a perfect tint from Is Clinical. It's an SPF 40 and it's a powder. And so just to take down the shine a little bit, I like to use this powder. It comes in multiple shades. I'm using the lightest shade today, but the beige shade would also work on me plenty of it on now. I just freshly primed that puppy. And it feels so good. Looks so good. I love it. Okay, next. For spring, I like to go a little more towards the coral colors. We get a little softer, a little more coral, a little more sun-kissed. Um, in the winter time, I'm doing more of those reds and things like that, or those berry reds. But in the summer, I'm looking for that sun-kissed, perfect sun-kissed peachy coral. So I'm going to put some of that on my lips. This is from Lily Lolo. And this is called High, High Fly, High Flyer. <laughs> High Flyer. Then I'm going to grab a blush. And this is called Clementine. And it's the perfect kissed rose shade and I'm gonna grab a brush because I didn't bring one over here hold on so this is highly pigmented I'm gonna pick it up in the lid dust it off and then just apply just a little kiss of color on each cheek I love that color, this color, I just love it. I love it when spring comes and I can put on my Clementine again. Okay, so other options. If you want, didn't want to have a, another layer of sunscreen, I like another layer of sunscreen because I'm pigmentation prone and I've got that issue, but if you didn't want that, the most beautiful finishing powder is from Lily Lolo and is called Flawless Silk and it has a beautiful luminescence to it. And that also would make just a really wonderful top layer um, with your Sorella Dewdrops. Okay, gotta have a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm that girl that likes to be really quick and easy. And so you can use a brush with this. This is from Lily Lolo, this is Truffle. You could use a brush with it, but some days I tell you, all you gotta do is reach in with your finger and get it on your eyelid, right down in the lash line. If you have little droopy eyelids like I do, you could lift your eyelid just a little bit and get it right down in that lash line. And it just gives my eyes that little bit of pop of finish. Now, because my eyelids are getting droopier and because they're getting crepier and little lines, and that's totally natural and normal, I love that. Um, but the eyeshadows that I wore when I was younger and when I was a makeup artist, um, they're very different than what I use now. I really don't put that much eyeshadow on now, but you have to use a little bit. 
Um, once you're 45 and above, you've got to get a little bit of color in here to take away from that redness that we tend to get around the eyes and then the eyes just look tired and we look washed out and tired. So you gotta get a little color on there. I don't wanna get too much on the hooded part of my eye because it's just gonna get crepey looking and dry. And so I just get in there right next to the lash line, get some nice neutral color going in there. I love truffle. And that just gives me that little bit of finished look. So I don't look like I've just gotten straight out of bed. And now I can release my hair, check my big mirror over here on the side. And that's it, that's how easy it is. And I have to tell you guys too, sometimes when I'm in a super hurry, I'll put lip gloss or lipstick on my cheeks. I know you guys have seen me do that before. So this high flyer, I've even been known to put a couple dots of it on my cheek and rub it in. So you can do that as well. That is not acne safe, however. I'm not acne prone to my cheeks, so I get away with putting lipstick and lip gloss on my cheeks, but if you are blemish prone, this Clementine is so beautiful and it's perfect. All the loose powders from Lily Lolo are acne safe. Now, if I want to, and I want a little extra moist glow, I can grab my Neogenesis Moisturizing Mist and I can just set it. it smells so good. And I'm good to go. And oh, let me grab one more thing. I'll show you guys. Back. New this week from Seam. So I just took my hair down from its hair tie thing. And this is a Seam Magic Serum. And so if you're like me and you're getting gray hair, because we're talking 45 and over, you've probably noticed that your gray hair tends to get a little more wiry, right? And a little more dry. And um, mine can tend to get kind of tangly, especially out here at the ends. And also as we age, we start to lose the pigment. As we're losing that pigment in our hair color, it also begins to get dull. And so what I found is this magic serum is truly magic and it gets my hair shining. So those gray highlights that I have just in the light, they just shine beautifully. And it gets rid of any of this little frizziness in this area. So I'm gonna grab a bit of that. Set this bottle down where I won't spill it. Put some in my hands, maybe, maybe half a dropper, quarter to half a dropper. Spread it in my hands. Get some underneath in this ratty area. Smooth those curls out. And now I'm ready to go to lunch with my husband and have some tacos. <laughs> I love seeing hair care. That's my hair care. I can't live without it. The Magic Serum, as you know, we didn't have on our website for months and months. It was only available through Scene, and that's because they were constantly changing the formula. Even though they were selling it on their website, every time you would buy it, the formula would be different because they were working the bugs out of it. Um, and when I tried one from their website, I wasn't as happy with it. And so when this one came, I was like, okay, well, let's see. And we all traded this bottle around the whole um, headquarters, our HQ, and everybody was putting it in their hair and they did um, arrive at perfection. So once they perfected this, then they allowed us to have it on web our website and so you can get it here now at Artist Skin Care. So I'm going to go ahead and tune in. I see I have a bunch of questions. So I'm going to tune into the questions on here and see how we do. Rose says, I'm really noticing changes in my neck more than anywhere else. Can I use the MFL cream on that area without causing problems? Currently, I use a retinol product with no irritation. If you're currently using a retinol product with no irritation on your neck, then you probably won't have any problem with MFL either. If you do have any little bits of irritation, all you need to do is apply the Barrier Renewal Cream from Neogenesis, put that on underneath it and then put it on, or you can put it on, um, put on the Barrier Renewal, put on Emma Pell night cream or the opposite night cream and then, then the Barrier Renewal on top of it. Either way, I've had clients do it and it works out just really great. 
and you will see better results for the neck with the Emma Pell. I have mud now, <laughs> the volcanic mud mask everywhere. So you will see better results with an Emma Pell night cream than you would with another retinol because you've got that MEP in there. And that collagen loss, the first place that we see it is in the neck tissues and then the jawline. And the first way that you see it is that the, like the texture of the neck, almost like the pores of the neck, it just starts to look kind of loose and thinning and the texture just kind of goes So <laughs> when you get the MPL night cream on there and the, the daytime serum as well, you're gonna see that tissue getting happier and happier and firmer and firmer. And of course, remember always this perfect posture. You've gotta have that perfect ballerina posture and remember every day to do your angels up against the wall to strengthen the back muscles and stretch the front muscles. Okay, that's it for the, <laughs> that's my soapbox for the neck. Okay, Adina's here today. Hello, Adina. And hello to you, beautiful lady. Can you use the Rhonda Allison Mandelic instead of the mask if you already have that one in that mask? Yes. So you could actually put any of our acid serums on the website. You could mix any of them with that volcanic mask or any of the clay masks for the most part. Um, I'm really enjoying um, the Mandelic from um, Neogenesis because it's way more hydrating. Um, oh yeah, I didn't really talk to you guys. <laughs> I think that's such a good question. I didn't really talk to you guys about the night routine. So at nighttime, I'm using, I'm doing your cleansing and then I'm putting on recovery at night. I save booster for during the day when I really want that boosted look. And then at nighttime, I'm using recovery. And then on top of recovery, I'm doing one of two things. I'm either putting on the Mandelic, 8% and I love this is really brightening up the dark spots. It really enhances collagen production And so I'm using that on some nights and then one or two nights a week because I've been doing this six months now And I'm finding that a couple nights a week with my Emma Pell night cream is enough for me um, So then I use this once or twice Per week at nighttime and then I'm putting barrier renewal over the top of either one of those. So there's kind of two things, um, and you'll see it in the protocol. If you go to artiskincare.com and ask live chat for the Emma Pell Neogenesis PDF, you'll see that I alternate nights between Mandelic Serum and the Emma Pell Night Cream. However, what I would say to you is if you haven't done a full three months, and these products, the Emma Pell products last a long time, they'll last you three months. If you haven't gone through a full three month cycle, then use that Emma Pell every night and use the serum every day. You've got to set that benchmark. Then once you're done with that, then you can go to what I'm doing, which is now using it once or twice at night and then um, on other nights using my Mandelic serum. So I'm so glad you asked that, Adina, because then my brain went on to, oh yeah, we didn't do nighttime. And then we have Ken saying, that's a great idea to use the saran wrap. <laughs> I love it. Um, then we have another one saying, another person redeemed saying, I am a new subscriber and recently purchased products. Just want to say, wow, new Genesis products are the bomb. I love your channel too. Thank you so much. And I tell you, I am so happy to have found new Genesis because to me, I like skincare with integrity. I like skincare that my skin knows what to do with it and understands it. So Neogenesis, Emma Pell, they work for me. I'm that, grew up in California, um, granola eating hippie girl, um, liked everything holistic and natural, and then got frustrated in the skincare industry because everything natural was just, didn't work with the skin. And so when I found Neogenesis and saw how it truly does go in and communicate with your skin at that natural level, I, I was just over the moon and then seeing the results. I've had a few of you um, reach out to me and say, Gina, in the last two years, your skin looks younger than it did two years ago. And that's solely 
Neogenesis Recovery and Booster Serum. And then in the last year, I totally owe it to Amapel. So it's using both of the Amapel and Neogenesis. And the Amapel was a game changer for me. Neogenesis, yes, that's my back one. I have to have that. But the estrogen loss was really affecting my skin this last year. I'm going to be 59 next week. And so I was really starting to not feel so great about the health of my skin. I'm okay with getting the lines and wrinkles. I mean, somewhat okay. You know, we work with it. We have courage and we face that and, and make, make the best of it. But when my skin's just not looking healthy, when the texture's just a little off and, the, the, and there's some stagnation in the skin, then I'm not so happy with it. I'm always trying to find what's going to bring back that glow to my skin and definitely Emma Pell helped do that this year. Okay. Emily says the Emma Pell serum gives such a glow. She loves it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just so happy with this product. I, I hope to at some point, maybe next month, we can get some speakers, get some founders from Emma Pell on and really hear more about how they develop that MEP because it's so amazing. Um, a. Lloyd says, I use Neogenesis. Hop and Calisim cal just started. I don't, I'm not familiar with Celisim, I think is what it's saying. These products are not cheap. How would I incorporate Emma Pell products? I have hyperpigmentation issues. So um, yeah, these are products are not cheap. And um, you can, I do have protocols and many, if you can, some of you can attest to it. I see whose names are on here. I do have protocols that include Neogenesis, Emma Pell, and the Tove, like the Cavapla and Scopla. You can use them all together. Cavapla foams beautifully over the Emma Pell serum during the day. And then at nighttime, we don't use Cavapla at nighttime. That's our daytime plumber. Keep it in the daytime. It's expensive. Just use it in the daytime. At nighttime, that's when you're going to use your Neogenesis Recovery and your Emma Pell night cream. So the way to adjust this protocol so that you could be using your, your Cavapla with it is that in the morning, you're going to do your Neogenesis serums, your Emma Pell serum, your Cavapla, and then your moisturizers. And then at nighttime, you're going to use your recovery serum and then your Emma Pell night cream, and then you could use some barrier renewal if you need that extra moisture. So that's, that's what you need to do. You could reach out to Artist Skin Care and you can do a customized protocol. They're $30. Or if you're one of our regular clients and you have enough reward points, you can get a free customized protocol. But with that, you would just go in there, tell us what's going on, give us some pictures, then um, you can request these different product lines and we'll just type out that protocol for you and you'll have it. You can put it in your medicine cabinet and see it each day. Let's see, who do we have next? Kim says, gorgeous skin. Thank you, Kim. I redeemed again, it says, do you think those dew drops are better than the farmhouse fresh drops? So, um, I have not tried the farmhouse fresh drops. Um, it could be that they're not acne safe, but I'm not, a not sure about that. Reach out to our live chat, ask for Celine. She can give you more details on that. Many of these kind of um, serum foundations that you put on are not acne safe and they really clog your skin. I don't get acne, but my skin does not like nut oils. My skin does not like coconut oil. My skin does not like heavy oils. They don't work for me at all. Sorella's dew drops work beautifully for me. They have those seed oils and it's very highly refined and it just does not clog your pores at all. So that was, that's why I like this one. As far as the farmhouse fresh drops, I don't know anything and I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, Ken says, you look beautiful, Gina. Your skin is glowing, Phyllis. Phyllis must be using Ken's. YouTube account. Phyllis, thank you so much. Faye says, hi, I've been using Michelle Corley Vitamin C, Daily Greens, Lemon Lightning, and SPF 50, and my skin is still so dull. 
What product could bring help my dull and uneven skin tone that is kind of rough? So probably what you're needing, Faye, is, so, and let me correct the order on here. So you put on your Michelle Corley Vitamin C, then you put on Lemon Lightning, and then Daily Greens goes on top of Lemon Lightning, and then Sunscreen. So you, you may be doing it that way, but I just wanted to make that quick correction here. The Vitamin C, then Lemon Lightning, then Daily Greens, and then your SPF 50. And so what you're missing in your routine, um, depending on your age, at nighttime, you might want to start using the Emma Pell Night Cream. Otherwise, also twice a week, getting an enzyme on your face. The Neogenesis enzymes, um, the Antiage enzymes, um, any Rhonda Allison's enzymes, you've got to get more enzyme exfoliation going on. So let me give you, I gave this talk to my staff today about enzymes. So enzymes are like Pac-Men. They go along and they eat those dry, dead skin flakes on the surface of the skin. And so using an enzyme is gonna smooth away that dead skin so that your moisturizers and everything can penetrate better and that dull skin will be gone. Now there's several ways that you can do enzymes. You can do Neogenesis enzymes, Antioge enzymes, or many of you have Michelle Corley's um, Enzyme Deep Clear Powder Cleanser. So um, that cleanser, it's a cleanser that you use, comes in a powder, you can put it on all over, that's an enzyme. It digests away those dead skin cells. You could get that nice and wet. You could put saran wrap over that, or you could just leave it on your skin for five or 10 minutes, let it do its action. Or you just wanna keep weed wetting it because enzymes need water to stay active. What many clients like to do if they want to use that for their enzyme exfoliation is they first use an acid cleanser, like Holly Frog's um, Shasta cleanser. That's an AHA cleanser use a cleanser that has some acids in it because acids go in and digest away the glue that holds those dead skin cells together. So you go through with your Shasta AHA cleanse and then pull your enzyme cleanser, whether it's, um, whether it's Holly Frog Sun of PC, that one has enzymes, or it's the Dr. Este enzyme Deep Clear, and then use, so, and then use the enzyme cleanser to digest away the skin cells. So your AHA cleanser is going to eat the glue that holds those cells together, and then your enzyme's gonna come in and digest away and clean them all off. So it's like that perfect do, and I like to call that my weekly deep clean. So that would be something I think, Faye, that would really probably help for you. Also, since um, I don't know your age, so that you may not be getting enough moisture as well. And so adding into that protocol, adding in barrier repair, barrier renewal cream, that would give you a lipid balance. And that might also help with your skin. When my skin's getting over exfoliated or really tired, I'm needing that extra hydration and adding barrier repair on top of those other moisturizers might do the trick. So that's my quickie without seeing your skin. <laughs> I love to see pictures. If I can see your face, then I can tell you better, but that would be my best suggestions. Rose says, yes, it's the texture, so true. Okay, amazing, I'm going to try this, thank you. Yay, Rose, I'm glad you got something out of today. Sarah says, what products would you say are best um, in its order among Emma Pell Sculpt Lime Neogenesis for both the thinning skin around the under eyes and the crepiness on the neck, menopause mature skin. So Sarah, you could use all three of those. Um, the thing that I will tell you is that your Sculpla, your Cavapla is doing more of that immediate gratification. If you want immediate gratification, put do this routine and use that Sculpla. If um, you're willing to put in the time and kind of wait, um, you could do it with the Neogenesis and the Emma Pell. You could use this protocol I'm doing today. will work beautifully for all of that. Um, when I pull in the big guns, the Cavapla is when I wanna have some instant results. Um, keeps people going so they don't give up. And, um, and it's fun. The Cavapla is really fun, um, what it does. But when you're talking about backbone, your basic skincare that's gonna communicate with the cells in your skin and make them healthier from the inside out, that's when you're talking about using Neogenesis and Emma Pell. 
that's gonna be your best bet. And of course, using all of that on the neck area, as well as the face. Around the eye area, you saw that I used the Neogenesis Eye because that's doing that deep cellular repair work all around the eye area. My eyelids are much firmer uh, than they were. I was really struggling this winter with my eyes getting really crepey and I wasn't using the Neogenesis Eye, um, eye Gel eye serum during the day because I was trying to use it and I was getting my makeup pilling around here. So it's only recently that I realized, oh, I'm just doing it wrong because there's always a technique to everything. And since I made that change and I'm using my Neogenesis eye serum morning and night, I've seen a big difference in that crepiness like you're talking about around the eye area. And then I'm pulling in the Emma Pell because that's what I'm using around this area where we tend to get the glycation and the deeper lines and all that damage going on, all that collagen damage. Emma Pell is helping us to repair that collagen as, and so is Neogenesis. But Emma Pell also throws in that MEP to go after the collagen damage from estrogen loss. Okay. Faye says, do I need Neogenesis or Cavapla if I'm in my early 20s? Oh, so Faye, you're a youngster, you're a baby. So in your 20s, I would recommend that you start using the Neogenesis Skin Serum. Um, that would be excellent for you. You don't need Cavapla. You just don't need it in your 20s. You're plump and beautiful. So if you're, want, if you're not feeling plump enough, use your Skin Serum then use your moisturizer, either the intensive or light moisturizer from Neogenesis, and then put your barrier renewal cream on top of that. And that's gonna give you that plump, juicy glow that Cavapla would give you. And that's just gonna be so much healthier for you, Faye. It's just gonna give you, it's your insurance. You're like paying your dues now so that you'll have better skin later. Sarah says, do any of these three brands have a vitamin C incorporated? Yes, you might have come in a little bit late. So your vitamin C serum is the Emma Pell serum. This has the MEP, which is taking care of the problem with your estrogen. And then it has vitamin C and it has peptides and other great things, like too, niacin, all kinds of good things in there. But it has all your anti-aging things. This is what you need for vitamin C if you're 45 and over. Kizzy says, best hydrating mask. There's so many of them. How can I choose one? I need Celine to pipe in here. Um, there's some really super hydrating masks from Michelle Corley. Um, the lavender floral mask, if you like lavender from Les Mew, that's gonna put water hydration in the skin. That's pretty amazing. The BioCell sheet masks from, from Les Mew. Um, the Belmonde sheet mask for hydration, that's really amazing. Um, Farmhouse Fresh, the Avocado Guac Star, oh my gosh, that's pretty great stuff. Um, Lemieux, the Hyaluronic Shea Butter, um, if you're also oil dry, I have clients that put that on and leave it on all night. <laughs> and they even use it on their bodies, so that one's a pretty great one. So there's a few ideas. If you're acne prone, be sure to look for the gray acne safe badge on our website and those would be the things that are best for you. Um, let's see. Thank you, thank you Faye for all your love today. I'm glad that we're finding things to help you. Redeem says barrier renewal healed my hands in two days. Yay. That's so awesome. And Barrier Renewal doesn't even have the Semstel cytokines in there. It just has that complete balance of lipids that you need. So that's really, really awesome. I also love, which you would probably love, is their body cream. I have it right here. This does have the stem cell cytokines. And I use this daily. I put a pump of this in my hand and then I grab the moisturizing mist. Let me grab it somewhere around here. Here it is. I grab moisturizing mist and I add it to my hand with the body lotion. And then that's what I put on my body every day. 
the moisturizing mist is giving you that water hydration that you need and then the body cream is giving you the lipid balance that you need on the skin and feels wonderful and I use that on my hands as well okay Sarah says backing up to the eyes video okay you mentioned the Mitama being the best device deepening and reddening of eye through hollowing most aging on anyone how does that work how about eye rejuvenator so um, what the Mitama was is doing um, when you're applying it is doing a detox through this area so it's opening up um, communication it's getting all the blood flowing when you have stagnation in your skin the skin starts to sag it gets dull you have collagen loss things just start to deteriorate when you stimulate the lymph and get all of that stuff moving in there um, and that's what and the blood flow moving through there that's what makes your eyes and skin healthier so the detox mode in the Mitama is doing a great job of clearing all that out. That's why it helps with puffiness and dry circles and all of that. Now, the um, eye rejuvenator does not have that same lymphatic drainage um, frequency going on in it, but it does have the more firming. So it is like Mitama when it has the more firming frequency going on there. The firming frequency interacts with the skin and stimulates it to stand up and be firmer and it also does increase circulation and it does help with product penetration currently i'm working on a new device for you guys and it's going to have a really nice detox mode and then it's going to have a relaxing mode for relaxing the fascia and the chronic tension and then it's also going to have that building mode where it's firming of the skin and all of that and so i'm super excited about that and we'll be seeing that probably in about four months okay emily says will cavapla foam with rhonda allison dnh and emma pell serum yep it does for me i'm having a hard time with foaming after adding rhonda allison yeah no i've never had a problem with it foaming on those I know I'm always working with everybody trying because some people generally speaking when you have trouble with foaming it means you're not getting your skin clean enough you've got to do that full three minute detox cleanse and you've got to be using a gel cleanser your skin just needs to be squeaky clean and then you've got to um, when you put on your serums when you put on that have plug just kind of wipe it for a minute and then just sit here for like a half a second and generally that's when you start to see that little bit of foam now sometimes i think people are expecting a really big foam it's not it just turns a little white on the skin so it's going to turn a little white on the skin and then you just massage it all in and and it works beautifully but yes i have definitely used dna reversal and emma pale serum and then put on cavapla and not had a problem with foaming um is Emma Pell Oncology safe, especially for breast cancer survivors? I love listening to your lives. We have asked Emma Pell that question and they've told us that it is. What they're saying to us is that it does not cross the blood barrier, so it does not get into your system. So you should not have any problems with the Emma Pell products. And then we have Sarah, she says, if using these three high brands, is it really necessary to use an AHA of any kind? And how would you incorporate acids beside them? Would they cancel out or compromise them? Love this education. So Sarah, if you're in your first three months of using Emma Pell Night Cream, you're using a pretty good, pretty strong retinol, you're probably gonna find you don't need to add any acids or any other exfoliation. You may find that you use a gentle enzyme like Rhonda Allison's Dermapeel once a week and that will be enough for you. There are other people who have oilier skin, larger pores, and they can actually layer. They can layer the Mandelic Serum underneath the Emma Pell Night Cream and have no problems doing that. Um, and when I talked about using an AHA cleanser, that was for a weekly deep clean. That's not something that I use every day. And I don't even use the enzyme cleanser every day. I generally use the Neogenesis cleanser is my daily cleanser. 
Um, I have a few other favorites too, but um, you know, as a daily cleanser, that's the one that I'm mostly grabbing. And then I kind of play with adding in other cleansers. I'm really loving the Pure Herb Caviar Lime Cleansing Foam. And so I'm using that a couple times a week. Um, I'm that person that likes to play with cleansers. So I have an, a little arsenal of different scented and feeling cleansers that do different things. But um, I hope that answers your question. It, you know, everybody's skin is different. Uh, and you can't just put the same thing on everybody. So some of you can put an acid serum like the Mandelic Serum from Neogenesis underneath the Emapel Night Cream and you'll get a beautiful result. If you're using Emapel Night Cream, sometimes people will get a few breakouts because all of a sudden your skin is getting healthier, your cells are renewing, renewing faster, and those damaged cells are gonna rise up to the surface and sometimes you have cellular debris and even a blemish that's gonna come out with it. So if you layer a Mandelic Serum underneath your night cream, it's gonna help heal that faster. And I do know that sometimes a client will have for a good, I don't know, four weeks, have a continued breakout in one spot. And um, I have to tell you guys, push through. Push through that because those cells are getting healthy under there, but it's gotta push some stuff out. When we get older and everything slows down and we get all this stagnation going on, when we start adding in retinol and the skin just starts getting healthier and stronger, it's gonna push out a lot of damage, um, skin cells and things, cellular debris, things that you don't need in your skin. So push through those little rocky times when you get a blemish or little dry spots, push through those because your skin is gonna look really good on the other side of it. Okay. I just received my curve from your shop and excited to use it. Can I still do my um, Dr. Dennis Gross red light LED mask in the morning or skip it on the days I do a curve treatment? So no problem. Um, probably, I'm not familiar with that light, but it, it probably is a professional strength light. The curve has lights in it that are supportive to your skin, but they're not at that therapeutic professional level. I do my LED treatments every night. Um, I like to do that five nights a week, but you could do yours in the morning and you can do the curve on the same day, no problem. And Sherry C says she loves the channel, so kind and knowledgeable. Thank you so much, you guys. Be sure to hit like if you enjoyed this video and you get something out of it. Helps me to know what kind of content you guys like. And um, this has been a really fun, fun uh, sharing with you all. Be sure to reach out to artiskincare.com if you want things written down and you wanna see um, all the products listed out that I talked about today. Um, the only thing they don't have listed out are the makeup items. So I'll work on getting that to them. If you want to know makeup colors or anything, you can reach out to live chat and they will always find out that information for you. So thanks you guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next week.